Hi guys, hi guys, welcome to politics. What a time you've chosen to start it. So, I thought I'd just introduce politics via a video in case anything goes wrong in a live lesson. So I've come into York to do it. I'm outside my favorite pub, House of Trembling, Trembling Madness um, on Stonegate. I'm just gonna talk to you for a couple of minutes about what politics is, why it's important, um, what an interesting subject it is, particularly at this moment in time. So politics really explains society, it explains the way in which we live. Um, and I know it's an old cliche, but everything really is affected um, by politics. It is central to our everyday life. Um, and also every aspect of this world um, around us as well. You know, climate change, um, the lockdown which we're experiencing of course at the moment which means somewhere like Stonegate is absolutely deserted apart from one weirdo talking about politics into his phone the response to Covid the, the, the health service which is so important at the moment of course the armed forces, schools um, the tax we pay on goods um, including the tax I pay back in my favourite pub back there um, all of this is decided by politicians and we ultimately choose the politicians that make those decisions. So our rights are defined by politics, particularly at the moment with regards to, to the lockdown, you know, the power of the state, um, you know, whether or not we're a member of the European Union, what powers um, the devolved bodies in Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland have. All of these are issues which are decided by politicians. Um, or decided by us ourselves in referendums and that referendum back in 2016 is starting to look a little bit less serious than the, than the way we've all looked at it up until this point. So that's what we're going to look at in politics. We look at institutions, we look at processes. So we look at things like constitutions, which are rule books. We look at the powers of prime ministers or presidents, the powers of parliament or Congress in the United States, the powers of the Supreme Court. We look at the functions of elections, why we have political parties, what those parties stand for, what interests those parties stand for, who they re represent and how good a job we do of that. So we do look at the institutions, we do look at the processes, but what makes politics so fascinating is how these functions that parties, parliaments, presidents, prime ministers, constitutions, how they work in the real world. Do they stand up to scrutiny? Are they effective as they, as they set out to be? And that's really what makes it so interesting. We can look at these models, we can say what will make a successful prime minister or president, but then, as Harold Macmillan said, politics is all about events, dear boy, events. Things can happen spanners can get thrown into works and things may turn out a little bit differently than we would than politicians in particular would hope for so our study is going to focus on two democracies the united states and the united kingdom both of which it's been said even before coronavirus were in crisis so we'll assess the extent to which that is true so that is what we're going to look for or look at I hope you enjoy it. It is an absolutely fascinating subject, particularly at the moment where we just lurch from one crisis, but crises are more interesting to look at. You know, I studied politics when we had Tony Blair as Prime Minister and not a great deal happened. The scandals we had then seemed quite small fry compared to the ones we have now. It is a fascinating subject and I hope you enjoy it.